Yes, so you've been on the cover of Playboy a record 14 times. Uh, next month, month launch, launches the 30th anniversary of your very first appearance in 1989. That's crazy. Um, I oh. heard you also say that you thought the Me Too movement was a, quote, bore. So I want to know, what do you think uh, Hugh Hefner would have thought? Of the Me Too movement, what do you agree with? I'm just not a fan of third wave feminism. I think feminism brought us a lot of uh, great thing things, but on. I think we need to save feminism from feminists. Um, say, I, wait, say it again. Save feminism from feminists. Why? Because it's we want. I mean, I think that in some ways women are superior to men. Obviously, I want to keep those superpowers. <laughs> I just, let's not uh, be too equal here. I, I like the idea of equal pay and equal things, but there's there's things that women do and things that men do. I think better than each other, and we're, that's why we're good together, and that's why we're stronger in pairs. I believe that. Um, I think Hefner was a great um, uh, civil rights activist. He was an activist for so many for human rights and for women. He really, I really, has empowered so many women and broke down walls where you know it's sexy. But some People, would say he exploited women as well. Right. Well, we exploited ourselves, I guess, because we had the choice to do it. So we weren't, mm -hmm. I think, uh, um, vulnerable in that way where he was exploiting us. I think other industries, like the pornography industry and hardcore pornography, there's a lot of exploitation there, and that's a really big industry. Um, and it can be very horrible, too. But Hefner, he just did it another way. He just had the chivalry. He had a it just... He, he, was, he really was a wonderful person. He really paved the way for so many... People, so many activists, so many black activists, black people in, in yes, their civil rights. Yes, politically he was very rights. liberal, but, but with women, he objectified women um, plenty. Well, the magazine That's, kind of objectified yeah. a sexiness, but it was kind of innocent compared to what's going on these days. Can we talk about the red mm. swimsuit? Yeah, sure. Because we're <laughs> celebrating 30 years of, of Baywatch. I can um, wait for that swimsuit to come back. We're actually... Uh, <laughs> I don't even, even want to know how many men have this framed somewhere in their room or somewhere private that they, they've kept around all these years. But it is it has stood the test of time. You have people like uh, Kylie Jenner, uh, Selena Gomez, Haley Baldwin. What is it about this red suit that it is cut still properly. so iconic? You can show your long legs. I think it was like high cut. I love that. It's great looking suit. I yeah. loved it. I Do mean, you still it was, have it? It was like well, this big, and then you put it on. Yeah. It fits your body. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and oh, it holds big. everything in, And too. actually, we were measured, it and it was their custom suits oh. for us. Do you still have it? Yeah. Oh, Ever wear it. Oh, it's probably valuable. Have, Why are you trying to borrow it? I, at, I would I not fit in that house. thing. If I couldn't put my toe in that swimsuit. <laughs> I have wore it, but I was at a friend's house and everyone was like, "Where's Pamela?" And I remember I just came out of the shower in my red swimsuit and I gave mouth to mouth to all my friends and brought it back to life. <laughs> so you know, you've been a sex symbol for quite a long time, oh, my dear. <laughs> and you have a couple of kids. You have a Brandon, 23, Dylan, 21. I think we asked you this oh, last time well, you were here, but I'll ask it again. How did they handle all that, you know, stuff well, about Well, I kept them you? out of the limelight. They went to school in Canada. They went to um, high school on Vancouver Island, so I think that Good. was Good. They were staying in Canada. They, well, now they're, now they're <laughs> artists. Yeah. Now they've, um, they've decided to be artists. Brandon's an uh, actor. He's actually shooting a film in New York, so I'll see him tonight. But when, you, when they saw your pictures in Playboy, you know, you know, unclothed, whatever, how did they respond to that well, as kids, little kids? Yeah. <laughs> well... They didn't see anything like that probably till high school time, and I was waiting age appropriately to kind of tell them you don't do these things thinking you're going to uh, horrify your children, but yeah. of course it does. <laughs> and there was a few uh, fist fights at school. Some fights at school. Yeah, really? some fights at school. But you know, it made them. They know. They they they've seen every kind of lifestyle. They're just really worldly kids, and they've yeah. turned out really great. They're very grounded. I don't know if people have seen Brandon on the Hills. Mm -hmm. He's like the most grounded person on that he's, show. He is the most. And he's a uh, he's he's just got a like, really strong character yeah. and. And you know he, he's he's a, he's a good kid. He's what a good advice? Kid. Same with Brant, Dylan too, of course. What advice do you give them? Having you're, you've been in the spotlight for so long, as young men, what advice do you give them? Just to be themselves. You yeah. know, it's the hardest job in the world where everyone else is telling you what to do. Like E.E. E. Cummings says, you know, it's like that's what I gave them both on their on their graduation is just to be themselves, and and they are, and they're without apology. They're raw, they're outspoken, and, and Dylan is creating great music. His music is very positive. Um, he's got this Midnight Kids group, and it's just wonderful. They're, I'm proud of both a, of them. You can be a sex symbol never... and a good mother. Yeah. Very good mother. Okay. Yes. Look at me. Because you're a sex symbol. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Come back. Well, they have to deal time. with things. They have to deal with things at an earlier age, maybe. But that yeah. gave them a lot of character. And Brandon's yeah. my favorite character yeah. on the Hills, by the way. He's Thank very, God. very mature. Yeah. We gotta Thank go. you. Okay, <laughs> Great Come to back see you time. again. Thank you very nice much. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Our thanks to Pamela Anderson. We will be right back.